go. Hello, guys, and you're all very welcome. And thank you so much for agreeing to come on today to talk about Test Reach and how you guys got on. And you're very much the guinea pigs for the remote side of things. And today we have Tracy, we have Diane, and we have Emmett. And they are my stronger, more talkative interactive students from the last semester so this is payback time where they're going to come on now and let us all know what their maybe their top few tips were and I wanted to kick off really with Tracy because I know Tracy you were probably the most apprehensive of yeah. anybody you know going into this and then that's not fair to say of anybody but you, you had and I think I probably would be myself but on the day you were as calm as anything and I just wanted to know how did you go what would be your top tips hmm. well if we we're just talking about the actual test reach exam itself yeah um I would definitely say beforehand read all of the instructions take your time remember what they've told you to do yeah um the when you're logging in log in when they recommend you to do you know, the, the, what was it, 45 minutes beforehand? Yeah. Yeah. Um, go through all the motions. But then when I actually, I suppose, passed all of the tests on that morning with, you know, the, the camera test, etc., I suddenly realized that um, when I logged into the exam, it was blocking me. Yeah. Which that you happened to a few students, yeah. <laughs> you don't need that. No. But, you know, I just took a step back and thought, okay, look, if this happened to me at work, what would I do? Yeah. So literally, I just stepped out of the box and, and focused that way. This is not an exam. So I just went into the task manager, um, control all deleted out of any other programs in the background, and that rectified the situation. The case was a little bit late starting the exam, but no big drama. You know, it just kept the cool. Um, and then actually, I started doing the um, exams, um, the last question first, and I worked backwards. Okay. Um, just going back to test reach itself, I would say definitely keep practicing on the online platform. Or if you're doing your practice questions, just don't use notes paper. I was very dependent on writing notes. Mm. Um, so I just omitted using any pens when I was practicing or any paper. I made any notes um, on Excel and I flicked, toggled myself between Excel and WordPerfect um, and using the um, formulas that test reach uses for um, you know, um, their formulas, because they're not the formulas you'd normally work yeah. use at work. Old school ones. Yeah. And did you um, use one screen or did you use two screens? No, I, I stayed to the one screen because you're only allowed the one screen anyway in the yeah. exam. Um, the other thing I found very difficult in the exam was, you know, toggling between the different screens, you know, looking at the requirements yeah. and then going into WordPerfect and then using your Excel. Um, but uh, cut and paste or copy and paste really was kind of the answer to that. So you could just put everything on the one page mm. um, and refer back to that using the highlights and the uh, bold instead of you, because obviously you can't make um, pen written notes. Mm. So anything that I thought was important that I needed to focus on, I just um, either put it in bold or I highlighted it or underlined it um, to go back to, yes. um, to focus my answer. Okay, and, and thanks for that, Tracy. And Diane, you were like the queen of the toggling, I thought, because you came up with, you You really practiced resizing your windows and everything, didn't you? Yeah, you Emma had actually told us that on the, the day. I didn't realise you could do that, but yeah, so you could put the, you could size the, one of the words up and then the Excel as well, so you could see both screens. Um, but as Tracy said, it is, you need to practice on test reach because it's very hard to toggle. Yeah. Uh, like the, the normal day-to-day -day stuff you do in work is it's not the same on test reach you know um but yeah the, the toggling uh, sorry when you widen the um word and the excel it does you can kind of see but what i was doing what tracy was doing was copying and pasting most of the question into word and answering that question so i found it very easy to format then so yeah. answering what the examiner was actually asking mm -hmm. um, so that was really good for me okay and um i was highlighting as well the important parts in yellow i will as i was reading it really slowly i was highlighting yeah that's important that's important i'm going to need that so when i went back to it i could just see the highlighted parts instead of having to search 
course. Okay, and I have a question for you all then. Uh, and before I haven't forgotten my due, Emmett, uh, did you use a separate calculator or did you use the did you use the Excel -y kind of spreadsheet? No, I used my own calculator. You, did you? Yeah. What about you, Emmett? What did you do? Yeah, I was the same. I used my own calculator, Polly. I, I, I just I'm kind of used to using it, and I just found it. I found it easy to do just on a little side of my left or right, whichever side of hand you are or whatever hand you use. I found it easier just to use that. And kind of a comfort point. thing, I think, as well, isn't it? You know, yeah, what you're used to. Yeah, yes. what yes. you're used to. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah, and it's like even the notes and that kind of thing as well as, you know, pad. you're more comfortable taking notes. You mm. can obviously you can obviously use your notes in the exam. If somebody told you you couldn't use your calculator, it wouldn't be a big problem either. You just get used to the, the one they provide you. Mm. But I think use whatever you're most comfortable with. And what about Scratchpad? Did any of you use the Scratchpad? No. no. That's very interesting. Because you've enough open, don't you? You've enough screens yeah. to be worrying about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Emmett, have you any uh, tips to add? No, I suppose just going back to what Tracy said about making sure you log in on time, um, it just kind of relaxes you a little bit. If you're logging in five minutes late, you already kind of feel like you're starting from behind and it's such a time pressured exam. As yeah. it is, um, I can log in on time, especially you'd, if there's going to be one or two little kind of hiccups along the way. I know with mine, when I first logged in, there was just a problem with the microphone. It said it wasn't working. So automatically you're starting to panic, thinking, yeah, Jesus, oh my God. And if I was five minutes later, I, I would have maybe been, maybe been panicking a bit, but mm -hmm. got that problem sorted. And then I suppose when you're in there, it's going to sound really stupid, but no. I... I had the bathroom beside me and just if anyone else fall, falls into the same trap, I had the bathroom beside me and I thought literally I'll fly in for two seconds, fly back out. They won't even see me. I'll be in and out that quick because I didn't want to go through the hassle of typing out so, so much time pressure. I didn't want to say here I'm off like and I thought they wouldn't spot me. Should I dipped off and dip back in? And she sure as God, your man spotted me. He said, where had you gone? And this and that and the other. And I just said, look, I had to fly the toilet. I hadn't time to message Wait you. Wait for you. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, hilarious. But, but literally, it, like I, I maybe it's just me, but I found so I found myself so tight for time pressure. There's no way you could go to the bathroom, and check your notes, and come back anyway. You know that yeah. kind of it's. Yeah. If you don't know your stuff on the day, you're not going to be able to. Yeah. You're not going. It, it's actually I had it in my head that it might be possible to cheat in some way, if possible, but it's really not. <laughs> Diane, you had a thing. Did, 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 did you go like this? Is that you? That was yeah. That was me. So there was two things that they did. So I I like to kind of like mutter to myself. So I was like, okay, I have a pension. And yeah, absolutely, talk. yeah. So, and I was saying it just like really low. And next thing it comes up on the screen, Diane stopped talking. Oh, wow. You know, and and you 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 kind of forget that they're watching you, and then you kind of go, okay. So then I was like, right, okay, and I was kind of doing this. And then they were like, Diane, stop putting your hands to your mouth. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, like big brother. <laughs> yeah. And like, I, do, I do talk with my hands all the time. Like people are waving at me when I'm um, driving in the car. Like, you know, I'd be like this. <laughs> but it was like, OK. And every time I went to do it, I kept putting my hand back down going. So stuff like that was kind of off putting. With yeah, the absolutely. Yeah. You so, know. You, so you'd have to practice not talking to yourself, really, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> so I oh, had <laughs> So look, there was a, a girl in the class who got 85% who is shy and she didn't want to come on this today. And that's absolutely fine. So what she said, her top tip was, and this is very similar to yours. She said to practice resizing the windows and positioning them on the screen. And it's worthwhile noting that even if the windows are overlapping, provided you leave an edge of each window visible, you can click on the edge and seamlessly move between the different windows. And she found that very useful in the exam. She said you have to work out beforehand what's best for you. So in, in terms of working out what's best for you beforehand, did you find being able to do your mocks using a test reach? Did you find that of use? Oh, definitely. Um, yeah. yeah. Mental to the whole success, I think. Definitely. Yeah, yeah I, know, I agree. Yes. And she said to practice reading your exam questions on a computer. Yeah. yeah. With just yeah. one screen. Mm -hmm. uh, she said... Uh, I highly recommend practicing typing your questions onto a spreadsheet and word processing document for all practice questions you attempt. This will allow you to practice the format you will apply to your answer and will force you to move between the spreadsheet and the word processing documents, a key test for te a key skill for test reach and discipline yourself, as you were saying, Tracy, to the one screen. Um, she went out and invested in a nice new screen as well. She got a nice big one. 
I had photographs of people with TVs. I don't know if that's necessary, but did you guys make any investments or did you just use what you have? I just use my regular laptop because I'm yeah. familiar with it. Yeah, I, to, yeah you know. exactly. Um, she said to cut and paste all the requirements of the exam question. Um, yeah. You guys pretty much did that, didn't you? And she so make sure into your um, yeah. answer so you don't miss anything. And she said for question one, this is a new one. She said, do your report or your whatever letter, do that first as it's easy to forget this on completion. So she said, sign off on it, even before you start the question, sign off to say, you know, thanks very much. If you have any further queries. Uh, and she didn't use the scratch pad like yourselves. And interestingly enough, this is her last one. She uh, makes use of the test read spreadsheet for calculations rather than a separate calculator as that saved her precious time in the exam. But that's a personal thing, isn't it? But that, by God, she'd be well used to the old school kind of formulas mm -hmm. that they're using yeah. by doing that. You see, not all the formulas work in test reach as well, so you have to be careful there. Yeah, and you'd have to have them. And so did you just memorise them all off by just... How did you remember all the old formulas? Like They just come back to you. They're just... <coughs> brain in practice, yeah. yeah. And how many... Can I just ask you how many mocks you did? How many mocks? So we had three mocks. So I'm going to name and shame now. So Emmett, I, so Emmett, you I defer. Did, so you I did three of them. I did three of them. Three of them, but very much in my own time. Not bother. But did you do them on test reach? Yeah, I did them on test reach. Yeah, I found that was the best way. No, definitely is the best way to do them is on test reach. Right. Okay. And then how many did you do, Tracy? And Tracy and Diane, you did all three of them. You we were great. Did, uh, yeah, I remember we did all three of them, but I definitely did all three of them and one of them twice because there was the technical glitches at the beginning and we didn't yes. save the work. Yeah. 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 And also, Diane, you got more questions. You asked, you were given questions that, going back years. That was brilliant for me now, I have to say. And it wasn't like I did full answers for them. It was more practicing reading. Yeah question and I just put bullet points but I read it on the computer and I highlighted and the way I would answer it you know and um, I went over it but, and then I read the answer and oh that's what the examiner is looking for so that was yeah. good for me yeah and his and his comments are very important as well aren't they because yeah you know, definitely. And, fi and finally 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 is there an overall tip or hint that you would give for doing the advanced tax exam the approach to it What's your, so forgetting about the test for each side of things, just while I have you, what would you have done differently or what are you glad that you did? The questions over and over and over again. Definitely, Tracy. Yeah. yeah. And do you think, and I always say to students, you know, hit the ground running. So do you think you hit the ground quick enough? Uh, you, never, you never think you have when, when you're kind of comes to the last few days of exam you know, leading up to exams, you think, God, I wish I'd started a little bit earlier. I think no matter how, how hard you hit the ground, you always wish you'd started doing things a bit earlier, but well, you it all is, passed, it's time so. pressure in the exam. And it's, yeah, but I it's think time, it's yeah. time pressure in the build up to the exam as well. Yeah, but Paul, in fairness, I think from the very beginning, you, you kind of had us all engaged to, to, to work. Mm -hmm. I think we're all working throughout the entire course. Yeah. Which you definitely did, important. Tracy. You did definitely hit the ground running. You were the most engaged, always first to arrive, camera on, you know, makes such a difference. But well, all of you, Diane as well, you're fantastic. And Emmett, hilarious. I know I teased you something <laughs> rotten. All right. Emmett, did you, you get a girl? Kind of <laughs> Okay, so listen, I'm going to say thank you so much. And that is brilliant. And it's going to be so useful, you know, just to pay that forward to everybody and, you know, you know yourselves. So listen, I'm just going to stop the recording. And let me just figure out how to do that.